I've always liked stones to begin with, back from my childhood. I always loved stones, picking up stones, quartz with the first, and Jasper on our farm. I use a different variety of cores. I inlay stones, and the stones can be gemstones, they can be opals, and I even use stones I find on our farm and I've crushed them and inlaid them into a variety of cores. And the cores make up the ring shape itself. They can be made of different materials such as Damascus steel, ceramic, titanium, tungsten, silver, copper. Years later, I made a necklace. Made another necklace out of gemstones. Put that away for a long time, and I went to making a gemstone stretch bracelet with gemstone beads, various colors, and all various gemstones. And from there, when the pandemic hit, I started the idea of making a ring. And I have someone who's been selling my gemstone bead bracelets, and he's all the way in Florida. I decided I can probably scale up my business and learn to make rings. I do opal inlays, and I use a different uh, variety of cores. The first ring I ever made, really, was from wine barrel stave ring. You know, the actual wood from the wine barrel. So I've learned a way to construct a ring and find a liner for it, and then inlay on top of that. Or sometimes just leave it as the plain wood and let the wood speak for itself. And you can see this liner, it's an anodized aluminum liner. The liner could be made of various metals as well. Gold plated, silver, tungsten, titanium, ceramic. And every ring that's made always has this grain structure here with these like, sort of like rainbow hoops. You can find that in every wine barrel ring.